How will Paul Ingle cope? Will he get stage fright? Can he take the power of Nassim Hamed, the knockout expert? It's a big key issue. What happens the first time Hamed lands? It's a key issue in all of his fights. Neither that ready to commit himself that early, just for looking for the openings. Oh, left hook and down goes Ingle. There's the answer about what happens the first time. Hamed connects and Ingle's in trouble. With just two minutes gone on the clock, left hand that did it. That looks bad for Ingle. He might get blown away here if he's not careful. Another left rocked him, and the right too. He can't cope with the speed. He looks befuddled. Hamed might take him out in one here. Well, this is excellent work from Hamed. He really is back to his very sharpest, looking to get Ingle out early. Oh, these are big shots, and he's timing them all. It's been a great start here for Nassim Hamed. A beautiful left hand, one to the body, brought it over to the head, and Ingle went down heavily. But Hamed really loading up there, you can see him just bending the knees, getting full power into these punches. Oh, left to the body, and he winced in pain as it landed. Paul Ingle down on one knee. That's knocked a lot out of him. He's up at eight, uneasily up at eight. Joe Cortez, and he may be ready here to be taken in the sixth round. Another body shot, and Ingle, is he breaking a partner? He came back with a left hook himself, but got through the round, and he showed amazing heart there. Oh, look at that wince on the face. Oh, caught with the right hand and head jolted back there, Hamed. This is his worst round yet. He's a little bit open mouthed as well, Hamed. You wouldn't think that much cause for concern, but a few good punches from Engel. This is his best little spell in the fight. He's just ruffled a few feathers here. And the champion is caught again. Legs just looked a little shaky for a moment there, Hamed. A little laboured. Well, it looks concern in the faces in the Hamed corner. We haven't seen him hit like this before, I don't think. Suddenly, it starts to look worrying for Hamed in the tenth, and he lunges there and misses by miles. No knockdown, but a wee bit embarrassing. Jab and move tactics now by Hamed. Who knows, really, he only has to stay on his feet to win. Oh, and he's got him with a countering shot with the left hand, and that might have concluded it. Oh, it was a terrific shot. He scrambles bravely to his feet, and he stopped. It is over in the 11th round. And Prince Nassim Hamed retains his title, and that was his answer to the mini-crisis that he found himself in. Just when he seemed as if the old Yorkshire hunter was hunting him there. It was a deceptive-looking shot. That. It didn't look as if we see it here, just a short little shot with a left hand just on the temple. And like all the great punches, or many of them, it travelled about, what, five inches?